Good evening guys, this is Corvantes Coliseum. I'm back again with a Black Panther reaction video. I'm just going to be reacting to the tickets on sale, a little uh, clip that they have um, that they just dropped from Marvel Entertainment. Um, we all saw the official trailer today. They dropped it early this morning. I think it was, they dropped it at 8.30, 9 o'clock in the morning. Um, just wow, just wow. Um, shout out to Jody's Corner. I saw a uh, trailer reaction and he basically pinpoint what this movie is going to be about and i totally agree this movie is set around the uh the comic book uh called uh black panther uh doom war that's basically the comic where shuri is the black panther and you have uh, namor and dr doom working together that's basically what i think this movie is uh basically dedicated to and well firstly it's dedicated to chadwick boseman rest in peace my king uh, but this is basically an interpretation from the comic now to the big screen because to be real Namor he seems dangerous and villainous, but I don't think he's He's the big baddie. He's gonna be the main villain, but he's he, I think he's uh, being used as a puppet for his own gain but also he's being I, I would say I don't know if he could even be being controlled by uh, Doctor Doom. We all know how Doctor Doom has plenty, or, uh, has a huge arsenal of magic, sorcery, weapons of all types. Uh, but psychologically, I really think Doctor Doom is all is mainly behind this movie, and Namor is just uh, I don't know if he's controlling him in some way or he is just or they're just teaming up right now for some sort of reason. But Namor is the villain. Doctor Doom is in the back pulling the strings, and obviously now Namor seems uh, well. Namor, Namor, and Doctor Doom see it's the perfect time, I guess, to strike Wakanda for their technology and all their resources. Because sadly, you know, Chadwick Boseman is not here. Thus, the Black Panther is gone. You know, there's no protector. Uh, like his mother said in the trailer, you know, Shuri says they're coming for the surface world. And in the trailer, you could see he's even throwing a spear at the window where uh, Riri and um, uh, uh, T'Challa's mother was standing. And just like Jody said, it'd be awesome to see, uh, you know, the queen get down and dirty, you know what I'm saying? Because all the women in Wakanda, they know how to get down and dirty. So, and her being the queen, she should be the most dangerous one. So, I do agree with him on that. I really do want to see uh, T'Challa's mother. I want to see their mother get down, bro. I want to see her getting. She don't have to get in a suit, but she needs to be in and she needs to be in freaking vibranium armor with this with the staff or sword, whatever, getting down when the when it's time for the get down. She don't need to be hiding away in a room. I would love to see that because we've never seen that before. And I know in the comics, even the queen knows how to get down. So let's not stray away from that. Uh, Angela Bassett, she's gonna have to move in this movie. I gotta see that. But yeah, man, this this movie is basically based off of Doom War. Um. I'm kind of glad to see Shuri in the suit because it makes common sense if and we don't know what how we don't know what their um we don't know what their ex explanation is going to be of you know of T'Challa uh, dying was he killed a, a tragedy what I assume is Doctor Doom did something or he had devised a plan that basically cost T'Challa his life. And I think that'd be the best bet. I think that's what's gonna make sure he step up to the plate, because she's I guess gonna basically put the blame on Namor, not knowing that he probably wasn't the reason that T'Challa died, but he's a part of the plan. But I see Doctor Doom mainly is the one take, uh, taking uh, T'Challa out. I think that'd just be good storytelling, and that make the most sense. But he's uh, putting Namor at the forefront, like it's his fault, and that's why you know. Shuri and, and and besides obviously because they're protecting their homeland, but I think Shuri's gonna be like, yo, freak this, I'm getting in the suit, this motherfucker killed my brother. I'm gonna get revenge type of thing, you know, so as well as protecting her homeland. I think that would just be the the um you know, pushing her to the edge to get in that suit and, and prepare for war and just take up the mantle for just that moment. Because I don't see I don't see them having Shuri be the Black Panther for the rest of the next movies or the next phase. It's just going to be for the war just to help out. I still would like to see Michael Jor Michael B. Jordan just pull up at the end to help. That's wishful thinking. 
but honestly, I, I it might not happen. I would love it to happen. That'd be cool. So he could regain his honor with Wakanda and show tribute to you know T'Challa. You know what I'm saying? Because after that fight, they did hash it. They secretly hashed their beef. They hashed it. And you know, even though he's he's quote unquote dead, but I think it'd be cool if they brought uh, Michael B back just at the end to you know to show his respects and help uh, help Wakanda take back their homeland uh, from the war and as well as I just want to see I, I'm really interested in, in how Namor looks he looks very brooding serious he's not playing games he's just here to do what he needs to do bro and get the job done he looks like a man of not many words I'll tell you that dude and the way he was in uh, the queen's face bro you better bro you better tighten up bro because if T'Challa was there, bro, he'd rock your world, bro, for being in his mom's face like that. It's so much emotions with this movie. And guys, I just started my job. I'm going to get those tickets as soon as possible, bro. Because I have to watch this in theaters, bro. I have to experience this as soon as it drops. There's no ifs, ands, buts about it, sir. But I got to, uh, at first I'm going to experience Black Adam. Then I'm going to experience uh, Black Panther Wakanda Forever. But enough talk, guys. I know you guys are here to uh, watch me react to this uh, ticket on sale. Hopefully we, we see a little uh, a little a new image here and there, but I just want to see what the whole vibe is about because I'm on a Black Panther high uh, from watching that official trailer. So let's watch uh, Marvel Studios Black Panther Wakanda Forever tickets on sale now. <laughs> it's time. Return to a place of legend, a place of endless beauty and eternal wisdom. A kingdom facing new threats. He looks so good. A place home to a beloved king and a legacy that will never be forgotten. Prepare to return to Wakanda. <laughs> Get your tickets now. Wakanda forever. Only in theaters, November 11th. So let's watch that one more time, bro. You, it's like you could see. It's so crazy that you could still see that they're all hurt. You know what I'm saying? That Chadwick's gone, bro. It's like it's it's just there. It's there, my G. This movie is gonna be a different type of experience because this real life tragedy. You know what I'm saying? Like, same situation with Fast and Furious when it came to Paul Walker, bro. Like, you know the the, the movie that came the, the movie uh, from Fast and Furious. Uh, was it seven or six that he didn't make fully make it for? I think it was seven. When seven came out, bro, and they were just doing the movie, dude. You could just see like even behind the scenes and and just on, on the world premiere, everyone was really hurt, bro. You could see that dog, like. And, and you know it, it's like here we go again you see it with uh, Black Panther now everybody you could just it's like the vibe is still there they're still excited and, and, and you know anxious for the movie to drop and and but you just still see the hurt inside them bro like it's just a different vibe bro that now that Chadwick's gone and you can see it through everyone you really can and I just really hope that this movie really delivers and this, this, believe it or not, bro, this movie has a lot to prove. You know what I'm saying? Black Panther, the first movie set the forefront. But this movie right here, especially because Chadwick is no longer with us, has so much to prove, bro. And if this, go, if this movie hits, and it hits different, and everyone enjoys it, this is going to be everything for Marvel to gain. Because the recent Marvel movies, bro, let's be honest, y'all. They haven't really been hitting to be real, my sir. Like, okay, I will say Eternals, it was okay. But overall, as an MCU movie, bro, it's trash, bro. Thor, Love and Thunder, trash, bro. Freaking Spider-Man No Way Home, it was great and amazing for the things that were in the movie for what we got but it's still i it's i have a love and hate relationship with no way home because 
I knew we were all excited to see all the Spider-Man together, but it just, something about it didn't really hit like it should. People are so afraid to speak the truth because they're sucking all, you know, the Spider-Man, Omega, Webster, Cock. I'm not, bro. I'm not going to sit here and lie. I loved it. I, I, I wanted, I, honestly, I really wanted to love Spider-Man No Way Home. I thoroughly enjoyed it. I, I, I would say I, I, was, I'm, I was this close to loving it. But it was just something missing. First of all, I didn't get into fight scenes with my other beloved Spider-Man. They just, you know what I'm saying? They came out, did their thing, but I just felt empty. I'm like, dude, we, we could have gotten, you know, there could have been more. There was too many empty spaces that should have been filled in in that movie. So Spider-Man No Way Home, that was still a decent pull for them, of course. They have all the classic characters, all the classic actors, you know, all the Spider-Man in there. So it's going to do good box office-wise. But... Spider-Man No Way Home and Shang-Chi, realistically, were the only Marvel movies that I have enjoyed from these last few Marvel films, bro. I'ma keep it G with y'all. Let's not even bring up Morbius. Let's not even talk. It's Morbin time. Let's not bring up Morbius, bro. So this movie right here, and this is supposedly the last film of Phase 4. This film will be taking us into Phase 5. Thus why I know for a fact either Doom is gonna pull up at, I would say at the end, he might be an end credit scene, to be real, but Doctor Doom is in this movie no matter how you slice it, and he has to be in this movie, y'all. Seriously. But let's watch this tickets on sale clip again. Yeah. It's time. Return to a place of legend. Thank a place of it. endless beauty yeah. and eternal wisdom. But boy, a kingdom facing near Namor. Is it Namor or Namor? I guess you could just say it however you want to. A place home to a beloved king. No woman. And a legacy that will never be forgotten. No woman, no Prepare to return to Wakanda. <laughs> she stayed in character for that Koya, bro. Especially, especially, um, for real, bro. For real, for Letitia, right, bro? It's like you can see she's so she's uneasy, but she's, you know, she's just strolling along, bro. Like she just, you can really see the hurt inside them, bro. Like real talk. Some you see it more with others, like Letitia. And uh, the woman who plays Okoye, Nakia, all of them, bro. Like, it's just, it's for everybody. It's just, it just hurts, bro, because it was so out of nowhere. Dude, I cried when the news came out. Who didn't cry? It's just, it's crazy, man. This is crazy. I, uh, bro. And again, with Black Panther, just because I'm black, I'm not going to sit here and say... It was the greatest Marvel movie of all time. <laughs> I'm not gonna do that, y'all. I'm not gonna do that, bro. I'm gonna keep it real, bro. I thoroughly enjoyed Black Panther. Again, there's a few a few gripes that I had with it. Michael B. Jordan, boy, he stole the show, bro. That's why I said I would hope and pray to God that he is at least end credit scene at the end. I don't care. I want him to be in this. I want him to come back as is uh I want to come back as Killmonger, but a more humble, honorable version of him. Like he, I, I want him to help them win this, bro. Cause at the end of the day, honestly, Shuri wasn't thoroughly trained like T'Challa, so I don't see Shuri really just hopping in that suit. You feel me? I don't feel I don't see Shuri hopping in that suit. And kicking Namor's ass. I just don't... And Namor, look, he was bred. He was bred to be a fighter, from what I from what I know. He's freaking king. He was bred to be a fighter. I don't see... No matter how awesome Shuri looks in that suit, Shuri's not going to go in a suit. She's not going to just hop on the, in the Black Panther suit and kick Namor's ass. It's not It's not happening. Like, you, I, I understand if she has help from Riri uh, Williams, a.k.a. Ironheart. But, you know, Namor got his, his click, too. 
and I feel like there's gonna take another uh, another thriving force to help them, you know, to help them wrap up the victory. And I would love that to be Michael B. Jordan, aka Killmonger. I want him to come through at the end and help them finish win the war. That I will lose my freaking mind, bruh. I will lose my mind, yo. Seriously. Even though we saw we got the official trailer today and then we saw the teaser trailer, you could really still tell that there is so much that they're hiding in this movie that we probably have no idea about. You know, there's gonna be Doctor Doom, I'm hoping Killmonger's gonna be in here. Dude, we might see another character pull up, bro. Who knows, bro? We might... Bro, who knows? Dude, what if... uh, What if Dr. Voodoo... What if Dr. Voodoo is in here, bro? That'd be dope, bro. That really would be dope. Dr. Voodoo, man. Or not Dr. Voodoo. I mean, Brother Voodoo. I don't know what I, was saying, what I was saying, Dr. Voodoo. I mean, Brother Voodoo, bro. Yes, bro. We need to see Brother... Yeah, there's. Yeah, he's known as Dr. Voodoo, Brother Voodoo, however you want to say it. It'd be dope. It'd be dope if they lead that to uh, bringing in Brother Voodoo, Dr. Voodoo, however you want to say his name. Just, you know, influential characters, you know, of color. I'm not making it a racial thing, you know, it's, it's Black Panther, you feel me? We, You know, if you're going to introduce some more black heroes or villains, why not, sir? Sheesh. Throw Miles Morales in here, why don't you? <laughs> I'm just kidding, y'all, but dude, I really hope that this opens the floodgates thoroughly for Marvel, leading into Phase 5, because this is the final movie for Phase 4. And I hope you guys enjoyed my reaction to the tickets on sale. There wasn't much really to see. I think there was only one new image in there, honestly. But today is Black Panther Day, y'all. Like, seriously, man. Rest in peace, Chadwick Boseman. We love you, man. We miss you. And rest in peace to my brother Avion as well. This this, this thing we call life, bro, it's a journey, bro. And you're going to lose people along the way. And you're going to gain people along the way, bro. But stay humble. Stay strong. Seriously, man, because that's what they would, you know, that's what, that's what my brother would want us to do. That's what Chadwick would want us to do, honor him, and we won't forget them, you know what I'm saying, and, and just strive for better, and let's just live pro prosperous for them, bro, through, through everyone that, if you lost someone in your life, bro, live for them. You know, you can grieve for them, but make sure you live for them as well, bro, real talk. And on that note, Wakanda forever. I love you guys so much. Peace.